All right guys, it's time to break into another Dia and Company style box. This is style box number five. Welcome to Pammy Plus Parks. I am Pammy, your plus size fairy godmother, and normally I'm bringing you all the magic that Universal, Disney, and Florida has to offer plus size people, but today I'm gonna bring you everything fashion from Dia and Company has to offer plus size people. I do want to start by letting you know that this box is 100% sponsored by Dia and Company, which means I've received all of the clothing free of any charges whatsoever. Dia and Company is gracious enough to furnish this box to me so that I can give you an honest review of what I think about the items in the box. So although they provided the box for free, I am not being paid to say anything specific one way or another, so it is my honest review of the clothing. Before we crack open that box, there's a couple of things I want to share with you. The first are my sizes. I wear anything from a size 26 to a size 30 or a 3X all the way up to a 5X depending on the manufacturer. But everything in this box behind me is either a size 30 or a 5X. I also wanna share with you a little bit about my personal style journey. I was noticing that everything in my wardrobe was gray or black and maybe because my hair is now gray, it was making everything I had in my closet look very sort of matronly and dowdy and it just felt very heavy and kind of sad <laughs> and it really wasn't matching my personal energy level, my personality, my character and I wasn't really sure how to put together the outfits that I wanted. At the time I was definitely a size 32 or 5 or 6x so I had a really hard time finding clothes in my size in actual stores like at a mall or um, you know even a department store that sort of thing and when I would find pieces in my size trying to cobble together an outfit was just really confusing for me so Dia and company just came to the rescue with a personal stylist who's able to find and source clothing from all over the place in my size in in styles that were really appealing to me um, I used the computer profile that I filled out to express what I was looking for, color, things that were upbeat, things that looked fresh and new and trendy, but didn't make me look like I was trying really hard to be a 20 year old. So here we are like five months later, my fifth box, and I feel like my wardrobe is completely revitalized and completely changed. Everyone is talking about how great I look, how great the outfits are. I've had a lot of great reactions at work, and as a matter of fact, this past week, I had a job interview for a promotion. And in the course of the interview, one of the interviewers told me that my outfit was absolutely fabulous and everything I had on was from Dia and Company. So I kind of think that, you know, just that alone is worth the price of admission. You have the opportunity to have a promotion and the people that are interviewing you really see that you are sharp and stylish and you're kind of on the cutting edge of things and I mean, it makes a big difference. It can have a real impact on your life, the clothing that you purchase. So yeah, sometimes the prices of some of the Dia and Company clothing can be a little on the higher side for some folks, but it is an investment in yourself, in your career, and in your future because your clothes say a lot about you. And as you probably heard a million times from many, many other people, you dress for the job you want, not for the job you have. And I think that goes for anything in life, even if you're dating, if you're um, you know, trying to get your social life up off the ground, if you've moved to a new town. I mean, what you look like, how you dress, how you're put together says a lot about you. If you're anything like me and you feel like you need help putting your outfits together, Dia and Company is definitely a lifesaver. All right, enough about me. Let's get started on this box. All right, let's dig straight into this box. I know not everyone likes to show the actual unboxing, but I love this part. And I love sharing it with you guys because it's like I'm getting to open Christmas presents with my friends. Okay, the first thing that you get inside the box is this plastic bag. It actually opens up really, really large and it's big enough to hold all of the things that are in this box. So if you decide you don't want any of the items in the box, you can return it to Dia and company. If you decide that you want to keep some of the things and only return a couple, they'll fit right in this bag. Or if you need to do exchanges, 
you use this bag as well. So it's prepaid. I'm not showing you the other side because it has my information on it, my mailing information, my full name and all that good stuff. So I won't show you that, but that's what's in the bag. The next thing you have is a letter from your stylist. And in here, you also have a receipt that tells you how much each of the items in the box are. I don't know the prices on these items because I receive everything for free. So everything says zero next to it for the dollar amounts. However, um, when I placed my order for my box, I chose to receive a box that had items that were priced between um, 50 and $100. With Dia and Company, you can choose a price range. You can choose as low as you can go up to $50, $50 to $100, and then you can do $100 and up. Now, most of the items in this box should be $50 to $100. There are times, from what I understand, that they'll send you accessories or something that is a smaller item, that even though you chose items that were $50 to $100, that item might actually be less than $50. So keep that in mind when looking at this box. I'm not sure what's in it, but you never know. <laughs> now, the letter from my stylist, I'm not gonna look at yet because it tells you what's in the box, and I kinda just wanna see that with you. Let's have a look, all right? Go ahead and break the seal here. Oh, I see something sort of tropical looking. Well, this is the very first thing that we've taken outside of the box and it appears to be sort of a lightweight jacket. I don't know if you can see this. Um, the fabric itself is unlined. It's very lightweight. It doesn't have any stretch to it whatsoever. You can see the pattern has a black background and the print on it is very large leaves. And the leaves almost have sort of like a feather sort of style look to them, but they are definitely leaves. And they're in shades of brown and taupe and beige and cream. So lots of sort of autumnal or fall looking colors, but tropical leaves. <laughs> it's an unusual combination. There's a very wide, maybe two inch ribbed trim that goes all around the back of the neck, straight down the sides and the front. And I, as I can see here, there's no way to, uh, to tie the jacket or zip the jacket or button the jacket. So it's an open jacket. The sleeves look to be very full, almost kind of a blouson type sleeve. Maybe not, on me it won't be, because I have large arms. But that same ribbing that you see down the front of the jacket is on the bottom of the sleeves, and they're sort of like a blousey bottom. That ribbing is also on the bottom of the jacket. And if you look, on the sides, the sides have a slit, and the slit has uh, three grommets on either side of the slit and it's like a brass grommet. I don't know if you can see that. And lace ties go through those grommets. So it looks like you could adjust this to open the slit wider and give yourself more room through the hips if you needed to. It's a very interesting jacket. I have never had anything like this before and I'm looking forward to trying it on. I'm a little nervous about what it'll look like on me because I don't generally like browns on myself and I like brighter colors, but I'm gonna give this a shot. Let's take a look at who made this. This is a 5XL by Molly and Isadora. I can tell this is not a natural fiber. Let's take a look at the tag. It says 100% polyester, so tumble dry low. Okay, this is fantastic. It's washable, and I'll say this for it. It looks like it will not wrinkle if you pack it in luggage. So if you're looking for a lightweight jacket to wear when you're traveling, or if you're going to Disney, <laughs> This would be a great jacket for that. All right, let's look at the next item. All right, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, olive green. Okay, green is one of my favorite colors. Let's have a good look at this. This feels like a knit top, and it is. It's uh, looks like it's a short sleeve shirt with nice wide open sleeves, maybe a flutter sleeve on this. And the sleeve looks like it would come about midway down the arm. Definitely a regular short sleeve top. It's a V-neck in the front and a V-neck in the back. And along the V is about, oh, it, look like, it looks like a maybe two inch border of lace. This lace is very soft. The lace has a little bit of stretch and give to it, as does the fabric of this knit shirt. It almost looks like a slub knit top, but it seems like it's a thicker version of slub knit. You definitely can't see through it. It's definitely a nice hefty knit shirt, tons of stretch. My only concern with this top for me is that it might actually be a little short. It almost looks like a crop top 
and I tend to like my tops a little longer, so I'm a little skeptical of this as well, although I love the olive green color, and um, lace generally is not kind of my thing. I'm not a lacy girl, <laughs> but I wanna try it, and I wanna see if I like it. And I think that even though there's no olive green in the jacket that we saw earlier, I think this olive green will pair well with it. I can kind of see how that will go together. Before we move on to the next item, let's go ahead and take a look at what this is made of and who it comes from. It's 95% cotton and 5% spandex. That's amazing. I really would have thought this was like an artificial fiber, but it's mostly cotton. That's pretty cool. This is a 5X by East Adeline. Let's take a look at the next item. Ooh, another print. Well, look at this. This is kind of interesting. It looks like it may actually be a dress. It's um, a knit dress with a black background with white polka dots. And the pattern features pink hibiscus with uh, lots of greenery around the hibiscus. I don't have a ton of dresses. I do have one other dress that I received from DN Company and I loved it. This dress, um, it looks a little short, <laughs> but I have leggings I can wear with it, so that's good news. This dress looks like it has a nice three quarter length sleeve, which is great because it lets you wear bracelets and jewelry and show that off. The knit is super, super, super soft. This is from SWAC, sealed with a kiss, and it's a 5X. I'm going to try to hold this out so you can see it a little better. Take a look at this sweep of the skirt is really wide. It looks like a very full skirt. I think maybe this is what they call a skater skirt. I'm not sure. Um, let's take a look at the neckline. Looks like it's a very modest scoop neck. Nice. Let's see what it's made out of. Okay, this is 96% polyester and 4% spandex. That's why it's so stretchy and so soft. Something I noticed while I was looking through the seams of this garment that is really, really cool is that every one of the seams has this really great stitch in it that allows it to really stretch. It's a really good quality stitch in this garment. I think that's really key, that's really important with a lot of the Dia and Company garments. I've really noticed a good deal of quality, a lot of details, really excellent um, craftsmanship. So it means that the garments really last, they hold up well, and I really wanna see that. If I'm gonna be spending 50 to $100 on a garment, it better be well made. And I do see those hallmarks of craftsmanship in all the pieces that I get from Dia and Company. My mother always taught me that good things come in small packages and there appears to be a small package in here and that means jewelry and I usually don't get terribly excited about getting jewelry but the last piece of jewelry that I got from DN Company in my first box is a necklace that I wear all the time. When I first got it I thought oh it's not really worth the $25 for the necklace but I wear it constantly constantly and I get so many compliments on it. It's held up really, really well. Even though it's fashion jewelry, it looks like it's real gold. <laughs> I get tons of compliments on it and it matches so many of my outfits. So I'm kind of excited to see what's in this box, if it'll be something I really like. Let's have a look. The jewelry pieces come in these simple boxes and looks like they did what they did with the last necklace, which is make sure that it's in a little, um, a little bag to keep it safe. This looks like it's got both silver tone and gold tone in it. I tend to wear a lot of silver tone, but I do like having gold tone pieces as well. Well, not only is this necklace long, but there also appears to be a one and a half to two inch extender on here to make it a little bit longer too. So this is a double chain necklace. Um, the chain is all Rolo links. And you can see partway up one of the chains, there's a little section of gold Rolo links, and the rest of it is all silver. And there's a little bit of a sparkle rhinestone on each of the little pendants. So each chain has a pendant. The longer chain has a larger, maybe one inch silver disc pendant with a border of rhinestones. And then a half inch pendant is on 
the smaller, thinner second chain, which is shorter, with four little rhinestones in the center. This is really nice. It's um, the kind of piece that would go with a lot of different things. Okay, it's a little difficult to see on this pattern shirt I'm wearing right now, but this neck chain, boy, these are really long. They fall beautifully. This is fantastic. I really, really like this necklace. I like that it's very modern and sleek and simple. And I'm gonna wear this a lot. I already know right now I'm gonna wear this a lot. It's fantastic. All right, let's have a look at the last item in the box. I think it's something I'm really gonna like. A pair of jeans. It looks like a pair of dark denim jeans. Let's have a closer look. Okay, so the wash on these jeans looks to be like a medium to dark wash, not indigo, but a darker wash. Ooh, interesting pockets. Nice soft feel, it looks like it's a, a pretty high quality uh, premium denim. They look to be probably ankle length for sure. Definitely a skinny jean. These feel really nice. The pockets are really cool. Look at that pocket, it's like curved at the top. That's kind of neat. Okay, so these are Molly and Isadora jeans, and you guys already know that I love these. They're mid-rise skinny jeans. And one of the things that I love the most about the Molly and Isadora, if you take a look at this, you can see, if you look at the back waistband, right here at the center, it peaks up a little bit. And what that means is when you go to bend over or lean over, you don't have any extra exposure because there's extra fabric right here. At the top, it gives you tremendous, beautiful coverage for a plus size person. Nobody's gonna see any gap. They're not gonna see down the back of your pants. I love that. Okay, let's have more of a look. Oh, okay. All right, so these are, oh, these are distressed jeans. Oh, okay, so there's like, down the front, there's some distressing. So on what would be my left leg, I would have some distressing at the hip. Well, that's really distressed. <laughs> Mid thigh and at the knee. And on what would be my right leg, there's more distressing at the well, top of the thigh and then right around the knee. And that is, wow, that is really distressed. You can actually, wow. You can really see everything there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is um, this is a lot of distressing. I'm actually kind of distressed about the distressing. I don't own a pair of distressed jeans at all because I am not a fan of the distressed look whatsoever. But I am a fan of trying to look a little more current and I see everyone wearing distressed jeans and I'm probably the only person who doesn't have a pair and maybe I should really take it into consideration. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna completely discount this. I'm gonna try it on. I'm gonna see if I like it. I'm gonna show it to Mark and see what he thinks. Hmm. Okay, these are a 30 wide mid-rise skinny jean. They are by Molly and Isadora. Okay, it says these are 45% cotton, 32% polyester, 24% rayon, and 2% spandex. Okay, before we read the letter from our stylist, let's go ahead and have a quick look at everything. So here's everything laid out, that beautiful necklace, which I think I'm gonna get a lot of use for, these distressed jeans, this olive short sleeve t-shirt, this patterned leaf pattern jacket, and the polka dot and hibiscus skater dress. I am skeptical about these jeans, but I like this jacket and top. I like them together. I hope that the top is long enough and that I really enjoy it. I'm super skeptical about this dress. I think it's going to fit good, but I don't know how I'm going to feel about this polka dot and hibiscus pattern until I put it on. Will it feel matronly? Will it feel a little bit too cuckoo? I don't know. We're going to have to try it on. Let's take a look at our stylist letter and see what she has to say. Now, there are times when I look at what's in front of me in my Dia box and I'm like, I don't know about this. But then I try it on and it's fantastic. And usually it's after I read my stylist letter that I really start to understand what's going on with this. So let's see what she has to say. Oh, my stylist is Lisa again. Lisa has styled all of my style boxes and I just have this tendency to want to trust her because she seems to really understand me even if I don't. 
<laughs> whenever I don't know how to put an outfit together or I don't feel confident with something, once I get it on, I can really see what she was doing and what she was going for. So I've learned to really trust her. Let's see what she says. I hope this Dia box finds you well. I'm so glad you liked your last one and that the exchange on the jacket worked out. It sure did, it's fantastic. I can't wait to tell you more about my latest picks. I wanted to give you a chance to try this Lexi Bomber you pinned to your profile. Oh, I should mention this. Something new that you can do India and company is go through their entire catalog of all the clothes that they have in stock and you can actually kind of pin the ones that you like the best. Apparently this bomber jacket was something I pinned. I would not normally do that. Maybe I was feeling brave. Maybe I had a glass of wine. I don't know but this seems a little outside of my box but apparently I pinned it. Who knew? Okay, so she says I pinned it. She said wear it with the Alima tee. That's that olive green t-shirt. Chambers jeans and laceless sneakers for a trendy casual outfit. The Daytona dress will layer nicely over black leggings and ankle boots, and you can edge it up with your gray biker jacket too. Oh, okay, so that's good to know. I could actually put that moto jacket with that. Complete the outfit with this Cara necklace that you pinned. I did pin this necklace. I'm so glad I did. I loved it. <laughs> have so much tr fun trying everything on. I can't wait to hear how it goes and what you have in mind for your next box. So that's the awesome thing about Dia and Company is after you've gone through all your stuff and you've told them what you like and you don't like and you've done your exchanges, you can do a review of the entire box and tell them what you did and did not like. And if there's a particular style that you did not like or a color that you did not like, you can let them know and they'll make sure not to include that in future boxes. I love that Lisa also mentioned the jacket that came in my last box. They have access, your fashion stylist, to all of the clothes that you've received before. They can help you build your wardrobe by going back and looking at pieces they've sent you before and including new pieces that will go back to the pieces that you've received in the past. It's pretty awesome. All right guys, it's time to try this on. This is the entire outfit with the bomber jacket, the olive green t-shirt, and the jeans that are distressed. You might actually be able to see that this bomber jacket is kind of big. This is a 5X. Um, I could probably do with a 4X or perhaps even a 3X. I love the necklace, I love the t-shirt, and I actually love the distressed jeans. Hey Daisy, come here, good girl, come touch, sit. Who's that good girl? So you guys, this is my dog Daisy, I don't know if you can see her. Hi, good girl. So she's my special animal guest star tonight. <laughs> None of the cats wanted to come in here with me, so she came in to keep me company. Good girl. So yeah, the jacket is really actually quite nice. I love the way it hangs. It has kind of an Asian flair to it, I think, because it looks like a kimono. Maybe that's because it's so big. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I think I should probably get a different size in this. I think a 4X will be fine. Mark says a 3X would be better. I am having that problem right now where I am just right between a 4X and a 5X. Sometimes I wear a 3X and I'm definitely between a size 28 and a size 30. So I have a hard time figuring out what will and will not work for me. So that will have to be exchanged for a smaller size if they have it, which I hope they do because I actually really like that jacket. I showed it to Mark and he loved it. All right, let's take a look at the top. I do feel like it's not really clinging to me. I don't know if it's just the way it was folded in the package, but I do feel like it's a little, it's not tight, but <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's coming in a little tighter here. I tend to wear my clothes way too big, so I'm probably just being paranoid about it, but I think it's a pretty good fit. I do like the lace because it's subtle. It's not like super girly. The flutter sleeves definitely give me that extra room I need with my fuller upper arms. I think uh, if it's nice in the back, there's a little tiny side slit here, which I think is a cute touch. I think overall it's a nice top and I really love the olive green. I don't have anything olive green in my wardrobe, so I really love this. And of course, I love this necklace a lot. <laughs> 
So now it's time to talk about the jeans. Now you might be wondering why I was so dead set against having distressed jeans. Well, you know, um, growing up in the 80s and being young in the 90s, <laughs> distressed clothing was really a big deal. If you were into punk rock, if you were into grunge, if you were into the goth scene, everybody had pieces that were distressed. So to me, when I wear distressed clothing, it's as though I'm trying to like recapture my youth. And that seems a little bit desperate when you're 49 years old. But I need to come to the realization that distressed clothing is in now, again. <laughs> so it's not like I'm dressing from the past or trying to recapture being a teenager or someone in their 20s. It's really just trying to be current with today's trends. Okay, so I've tucked in this top for you to give you a little bit better idea of the fit of the jeans. They are a little bit higher than where my belly button is. It's right here. So I don't know if it's really high-waisted, but there's a little bit higher than I would normally wear. I usually wear them a little lower, almost to the hip, but they're still really comfortable. The pockets are a little on the shallow side, but that's okay, I'm kind of used to that. The feel of the fabric is very soft, it's very stretchy. Um, I think the distressing is very nicely done. I don't feel like the pants are gonna fall apart, <laughs> which was something I was a little worried about at first. But let's have a look at the silhouette so you can see how it fits. I do have a low hanging belly, and this doesn't like overly accentuate that. Um, but it does fit it. Speaking of butt, <laughs> that's how it fits in the back. And you can probably see how this comes up to a peak right here. So you have better coverage at your lower back with the jeans. Overall, I'm really happy with the comfort level of these jeans, the fit and the style. So <laughs> yeah, I'm joining the 21st century. <laughs> and finally getting a pair of distressed jeans that are in style. Okay, now it's time for the item I was most skeptical of, the pattern dress. Let's have a look at this. Now I left my jeans on so that you could actually see how long the dress is. I had it on with leggings, but you couldn't really see where the dress ended and the leggings began. <laughs> so hopefully with the blue jeans, you can actually see. It's quite long, it goes past my legs. It definitely does not cling to the body. It is um, kind of close fitting on the sleeves on the upper arm. I do have very full upper arms. It's a little roomy in the chest area. The fabric does flow very nicely. I will say the fabric feels super, super soft, almost like a nightgown. It feels like I am wearing a nightgown. It doesn't feel like a dress in a bad way, <laughs> not in a good way. As a supersized person, I have a lot of concern about looking sloppy or looking like I'm dressing in a lazy way. And I do feel like a very loose knit like this for me on my body style, my personality, my preferences. I know it looks tidy on me, but I feel sloppy. I feel like I just rolled out of bed and walked out the front door. Like I didn't even change my clothes because it feels too soft, too loose too casual. So it's a dress, but to me, it doesn't feel like something I would be comfortable wearing to work. I would wear this around the house to hang out in. I would not go out in public in it. I also am not thrilled with this pattern at all. Um, I usually love polka dots, and maybe if it were just polka dots, it would be okay, but the addition of these flowers, it's just, it's too much for me. I think even if it were just flowers and no polka dots, I might feel a little bit better about it, but the two together, I just, it's too much. It's overpowering, it's too busy. It's kind of uh, veering into crazy quirky, too quirky for me. So to be perfectly honest with you and with my stylist Lisa, I do not like this dress. <laughs> However, it is super comfortable and because I'm not being charged for it, I will keep it and I will keep it as a dress that I wear around the house to relax in. But it's not something I will wear to work or wear in public, I feel like there's just, it's, it lacks some structure, the pattern's too busy. I, I just don't feel entirely comfortable in it. I feel comfortable, but too comfortable, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the box. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. 
Um, I really, really liked that bomber jacket because it's something very different than I would normally pick out for myself. Although I did actually pin that jacket in the catalog as something I wanted to try. So I'm really glad that they sent it to me. I'm glad that it, I'm actually showing signs of kind of getting outside of my box because those colors are not normally colors I would choose. I love the olive green t-shirt. I love the style of it. I love that it's a little bit feminine and it's not just a plain t-shirt. Um, it's very comfortable. It's as long as I hoped it would be. And the jeans were the biggest surprise for me because I did not think I would like distressed jeans at all because it felt like I was trying too hard to be looking like I was in my 20s or something like that. And I'm happy to be 49, but I want to make sure that I don't look desperate. And I don't feel like the jeans look like I'm being desperate. They just look like they're on trend. I'm really happy to finally have a pair of distressed jeans in my wardrobe. And I think one of the things I like the most about it is that the jeans are a little bit darker wash, which makes it a little easier for me to feel comfortable in them. I think if they were distressed and a very light wash, I would be like, eh, they look old and dingy. <laughs> So this is just the perfect combination for me. The necklace is definitely a hit. I'm gonna wear that all the time. I love it. This dress, not a fan of the dress. <laughs> I have to tell you, it's a physically comfortable feeling, but the pattern is too much for me. I feel like it's, um, it reminds me of clothes that were made for people who were fat back in like the 1980s where they would just find the ugliest pattern they could and then cut it the shape of a tent and just sell it to you. And that's what this reminds me of. It's, so it's giving me some bad vibes <laughs> from like the 80s. I showed the dress to Mark. He said, if you put a necklace on with that and some bracelets and some earrings and you put on a pair of leggings and boots, it's gonna look perfectly fantastic. He thought it looked good from the front, from the back, from the side. He loved the dress. I do not love it, but I'm going to keep it because I'm going to try wearing it around the house. I'm going to see what you guys have to say about it too in the comments. Let me know if you like this dress or if you don't like it, if you think it's something I should take a risk on and like put on and try to wear when I go to work or out on a date night with Mark. Right now I just feel really self-conscious in it, like it's a fat lady dress. <laughs> I don't know, it's not my favorite, but I wanna hear your feedback and what you think, what you feel, what your thoughts are on it and see what you, what you come up with for some ideas of how to style it. And maybe I can try actually wearing it out and about. Um, my stylist did say to pair this with my gray moto jacket. I don't think this is, would help this dress at all. <laughs> so if you guys have some other ideas for me, definitely share them. I'd love to hear them. If you are interested in trying a Dia & Company style box, I do have a link down below. If you click on that link and you place your order with Dia & Company, a small commission will come to the Pammy Plus Parks channel. Any funds that are generated from that will be used to create more exciting videos and maybe, maybe get her a new dog bed so she'll lay down. <laughs> Daisy, are you tired of making videos? Yeah, you wanna go watch TV? Okay, we'll go watch TV. All right, so that's it for me and from Daisy Dog. Thank you so much for joining us today for this Dia and Company unboxing. I hope that all of your shopping trips in the future are magical. And remember, life is a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride. <laughs>